All right, so on July 13, 2022, we have a full moon in Capricorn, and so the moon waxes to its maximum extent, and the full moon happens at 21 degrees of the sign. And so what we have up on screen uh, is the configuration, the pattern of this uh, full moon in Capricorn so that you can have a better visual appreciation of it if that helps. So this is a moon that activates the Cancer Capricorn axis. As we know, the full moon means that the moon is opposite the sun. And so the moon is in the opposite sign. And so full moons, well, in very simple terms, they put on the table this question of the balance of polarities, the integration of opposites, uh, the complementarity of opposites. So sun in Cancer and moon there in Capricorn. And so we've been spending a lot of time on the channel here talking about various Cancer themes recently in the last few uh, podcasts or videos on the channel. So we talked about generational karma and patterns in the bloodline or family line. We talked about soul memory. And we had, of course, a Cancer new moon at the end of June. And we were suggesting back then a few psychic exercises to help you to understand more of your personal relationship to the Cancer portions of your makeup, of your psyche. And then we spoke about uh, cancer themes in the astrology of July, looking at activations of the cancer sign field and Venus going into cancer later down in the month. And so in that video, we also spoke to some of the energy activations taking place within the USA this July as the USA astrological blueprint with its cancer sun is being triggered in specific ways this July 2022. Anyway, so on July 13, as we said, is the Capricorn full moon birthed out of the Cancer new moon at the end of June. And so Cancer, the foundations on which we stand, the roots of the tree, so to speak. And so we can use a simple analogy. We can think about our childhood phase, Cancer, as the roots of the tree, the foundations of our adulthood, Capricorn. So Capricorn would be the adulthood phase where we take our standing in the world. So our adulthood and standing in the world, Capricorn, is fed from the roots of our tree, meaning our standing in the world is conditioned by the inputs in our psyche from the childhood phase, the events, the experiences, the psychic imprints left from the childhood phase, cancer, archetypally cancer. So the idea of what the roots of our tree are drawing up on as it grows, as the tree grows and matures into a mature tree standing tall. So the cancer Capricorn axis on one level of its expression, it describes and speaks to a process of maturing from child to adult. So that maturing process takes place on a biological level, an emotional and psychological level, and also on a spiritual level. In other words, there are psychological and spiritual attitudes that come with increasing maturity, with becoming an adult, with growing up. And so, as an adult, it would be inappropriate to approach your life with some of the psychological orientations that you would have as a child, you would have had as a child. So, these ways of being in the world wouldn't be appropriate for your adult life. So as a child, well, you are largely under the authority of your parents or guardians. And then coming into adulthood, there is a process of self-sufficiency, being responsible for yourself and the trajectory of your life. So Capricorn, being an adult would mean in basic terms, being responsible for your own choices and life path. 
and that's what distinguishes the phase of adulthood from the phase of childhood the responsibility that comes with maturation with uh, standing tall taking your place a capricorn process and so with any activations along the cancer capricorn axis well there is a stirring up at deeper collective and personal psychic levels there's a stirring up of the relationship between my childhood phase and the inputs that went into that the psychic foundation of my growing up stage my growing up years the formative years of my life and then how that relates to my standing as an adult so when we have the cancer capricorn axis being activated these are the issues that uh, would be stirred up so as we look at the configuration or pattern of this moon we also find a pluto imprint there so the capricorn moon is conjunct joined up with pluto in a widish conjunction there so the moon at 21 capricorn pluto there a few degrees away at 27 degrees capricorn and of course the sun too opposite pluto so on one level full moons well they invite us to look at things the things that are being brought up into our awareness to look at and to examine so just as the full moon we like to use this analogy on the channel just as the full moon announces itself in the sky it would mirror an inner process within the psyche what is coming up to be looked at and so friends nature as we often point out well it would be a mirror of the inner psychic processes that take place inside of us so nature would mirror internal human psychic processes to bring you into more of an awareness of these internal psychic movements that take place inside of you so full moons what is announcing itself into my awareness for me to take stock of what is the fruit that grows out of the seed i have planted so conjunction new moon the seed point and full moon well there is a completion a culmination and so there are many many things that the lunar cycle helps us to understand one of them being the relationship between the inner and the outer meaning the relationship between the inner forms the inner forms and patterns within our consciousness at deeper levels which cannot be seen so think about when the moon is dark it cannot be seen so full moons or the moon cycle rather the lunar cycle brings up the relationship between our inner consciousness and the outer forms full moon that are created from the quality of our inner consciousness so inner creates outer and the lunar cycle helps us to understand some of these deeper uh, mechanics so at the capricorn full moon well we are being invited to look at capricorn things capricorn things announce themselves into our consciousness to be looked at so the capricorn structures of our lives at both personal and collective levels and so this full moon well we are invited to look at what is our relationship to authority and power so capricorn pluto what is our relationship to authority and to power capricorn and pluto so as adults what is our relationship to authority and power and the big picture question would be are we taking up the mantle of sovereign authority so spiritual psychological authority or are we remaining in the attitudes of our childhood phase the cancer phase and so as a collective well what in terms of our approaches to the childhood phase cancer what in terms of our approaches to that phase needs to be overhauled and transformed pluto so that we raise and produce adults who have a sense of sovereign authority over themselves 
And so why would it be important to raise children into the kinds of adults who have a sense of sovereign authority over themselves? We'll get to that in a bit. And so we'll discuss more on the collective level in just a moment as we look at this moon activating the Saturn-Pluto conjunction point. That point, that conjunction, of course, taking place at the end of 2019 into the beginning of 2020. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, on the personal level, are we carrying the specters of old psychological orientations from our childhood phase into our adulthood phase? And if so, how so? So this is a moon that would invite us on one level to think about maturing and empowerment in relation to family, parents, what was given to you by your family. So I've been discussing in consultations with clients recently a lot to do with the imprints from the family, a genetic bloodline, all of these issues, these cancerian issues, uh, relationships with parents and the family inputs, the inputs into childhood, all of that. So this is a moon that puts on the table a whole psychological reorientation in terms of how we come to the imprints from the past, letting the imprints from the family have less power and authority, meaning if there are patterns from the childhood phase that have misplaced authority in your life, if they impede or get in the way of you functioning in your sovereign authority as an adult, then these are patterns that need to be overhauled, transformed, allowed to die for a rebirth of your consciousness, Pluto. So a rebirth into more of your own power. So strengthening and fortifying the empowerment that comes from standing in your own authority as an individual. And so many of us, well, we have childhood phase patterning or childhood phase programming running that is obstructing and getting in the way of us coming into sovereign adulthood. So the freedom and dignity that comes with relieving yourselves of the misplaced authorities in your life so that you can set your own path as a sovereign individual. Many of us as adults, well, we are still being ruled and inappropriately governed by what was set into motion in childhood, in the childhood phase, cancer. In other words, we are giving things from our family line, misplaced authority. And it's not to negate the existence of childhood wounding. We'll talk about that wounding in our formative childhood cancerian years. But too often, we are allowing the imprints from our past to usurp our authority. So dad was like this and mom was like this. And so I have no escape. I'm either bound to be repeating these patterns or bound to be in a state of repeated cyclical emotional reactivity to the events, scenarios, and programming from the past, the family, and childhood. So this is what is in my bloodline. So well, I'm ruled by it. It rules the choices that I make and how I behave. And so if we have enough courage, each of us, to be unflinchingly honest, some of these things, well, for various reasons, we use them as crutches to prevent us from standing properly as sovereign adults. And usually the deeper reason is fair. Fear of assuming responsibility for our lives, being terrified of taking up the mantle of a sovereign existence. And so some of these events and scenarios and programming from the past, well, they have misplaced authority in our lives. They have usurped our own power and authority, and we've given these things misplaced authority. So sovereignty well it's a way of being it's a psychological and spiritual attitude yes and so this is part of the reason why when 
let's say certain forces want to control an individual, they do so by way of inflicting childhood trauma in the formative years. Because trauma in the formative years, cancer, in that phase, in the cancer phase, trauma becomes a mechanism for inserting a program of misplaced authority by causing the person to be in repetitive emotional looping that obstructs that person's capacity when they become an adult, Capricorn, it obstructs their capacity to step into sovereignty and personal authority. In other words, trauma in the childhood phase inserts a program like a virus to infect the mechanism in the consciousness, in the structure of our consciousness that is responsible for developing healthy patterns of personal authority. And so on the human family level, historically, we have replicated this program, meaning we are inflicting trauma and wounding on ourselves to each other, specifically in the childhood formative years, parent to child, for example, because in a sense, there is a virus that has infected and warped the personal authority program architecture or structure within the human consciousness, a virus which replicates through childhood trauma and results in a population that is, uh, let's say, more easily controlled because the personal sovereignty template is broken in or childhood or broken from or childhood cancerian phase. And so these are some of the deeper facets of the relationship between Cancer and Capricorn. And so as we look at the configuration or pattern of the full moon, we see that the Cancer Sun and the Capricorn Moon are square Chiron in Aries. So symbolically showing, describing how wounding, pain and trauma and suffering, Chiron, relative to who we were in childhood, Cancer Sun, how this distorts the template of authority and produces suffering in the adult phase, Capricorn, because of misplaced authority and power. So suffering because of misplaced authority and power. So it produces suffering in the adult phase, which grows out of that childhood phase. So cancer, again, the foundation of our adult phase, Capricorn. So we are looking at the need to heal and integrate. So Chiron and Pluto processes, uh, the need to heal and integrate the formative or childhood patterning so that we can restore the human personal sovereignty template and grow into empowered individuals. All right, so let's look at this moon from a broader collective standpoint, from that Saturn-Pluto standpoint. So this is a moon that is, as we said, activating the Saturn-Pluto conjunction point, 21 to 22 degrees Capricorn that we had from December 2019 into January 2020, something that we would have spoken to extensively on the channel in various ways. And so the Saturn-Pluto conjunction point in Capricorn, well, since then, since the end of December 2019, the beginning of 2020, well, the whole world has changed, as we can plainly see. Well, there have been major structural overhauls in how we live, uh, entrenchment of institutional power and authority relative to the individual. So health authorities, the state, global institutions. So a reconfiguration of our collective lives, a structural overhaul, Saturn, Pluto, in such a way so as to hand a lot more power to various institutional authorities, Saturn, Pluto. So what you can and cannot say on various platforms, uh, what sorts of health interventions you must take when you can go to work and when you can open your business and what 
you must wear on your person, all by decree. So whatever your personal opinions are on certain, uh, let's say, policies, well, this has been, the Saturn-Pluto point has heralded a major, a massive step forward for all sorts of centralized authority, centralized state and global institutional authorities. And so, as we take stock as this moon activates this Saturn-Pluto conjunction point, as it gives us a chance to look at some of the outer forms that have come from that seed point, that Saturn-Pluto seed point. Well, what do we notice? We see or we notice a few things, one of which is acquiescence to being managed, Capricorn, the sign of the manager, so acquiescence collectively to being managed and being treated as though we were in a child phase, cancer. And so we are identifying within the collective where there is a deep structure of misplaced authority, a structure within our collective consciousness that is in a painful process of being overhauled. So painful because the consequences of that misplaced authority are going to have to become so dire in order to stimulate the inner psychic and spiritual changes that are necessary from a collective human group soul standpoint. In other words, on one level, it's going to have to get really bad by way of abuse of authority and usurping of human sovereignty and that is of course the underbelly of pluto in capricorn so it's going to have to get quite stark in the outer world for there to be a trigger mechanism within the collective psyche so the consequences of misplaced authority meaning the distortion of the personal sovereignty template within the structure of our consciousness. And so with Pluto going through Capricorn, especially as we've pointed out before, at these final 10 degrees, we are dealing with an overhaul of the internal energetic and psychic architecture within the human makeup, an overhaul within the human anatomy of consciousness, an overhaul that has to do with power and authority. So it's the idea of repatterning the Capricorn architecture within the human collective group soul consciousness and anatomy. So sign fields, sign fields, F-I-E-L-D-S, sign fields, what we call Capricorn or Cancer or Scorpio, well, these sign fields, they have a specific architecture, meaning if you could observe them, you would find, let's say, a lattice field with specific geometric patterns and alignments. And so when there are distortions in the sign fields due to a misalignment of consciousness, that is reflected in the structure. And so repair of the consciousness repairs the sign field, the architectural grid work, so to speak. So something that we've brought up before here on the channel is this. On the individual level, we need to observe our own private and personal relationship with authority and where there is misplaced authority in our own lives because those same patterns on the personal individual level, well, they are magnified, they replicate on the collective levels, they replicate in the structure of our collective relationship to institutions of authority and power. So our inner relationship to authority and power on the individual level, these are dynamics that show up in the collective, on the collective level. So from that standpoint, it is really important, it's imperative that in this phase, we deal with on the individual level where there is misplaced authority in our own lives, where we are 
in a sort of stunted cancerian phase, not coming out of the childhood phase, where the childhood phase, the cancer architecture is warped because of these trauma inserts or wounding or a failure to have a healthy cancerian phase to step into that personal sovereignty template as we become adults in the Capricorn phase. So these are a few things to think about at this full moon in Capricorn, a good time to take stock of some of these deeper issues. All right, so reminding you as usual that I'm available for a range of private astrological counseling, teaching consultations and packages and links to that are in the description box below where you'll also find links to other astrological and uh, spiritual resources and my email list if you'd like these seminars and podcasts to be sent directly to your inbox. So wishing you a wholesome full moon and until next time, talk soon. Bye.